All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. I'm finally back from San Diego so I can continue the series, but unfortunately, the new season started. So we're unranked again, and we'll have to find out what rank we get to. I imagine we might drop down two or three more ranks. I'm not really sure where we're going to end up at, but let's try the first couple matches here and try to get a rank back. All right, we have Tackless uh, with Novilus, and it's him. I didn't do a meme of the day today just because I did just get back home like a second ago, so... You know, you have to bear with me on uh, getting back in the swing of things, but I totally forgot I'm doing Road to SSL and just did like a crazy double. Uh, I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to try and stay close to the ball here. I like went in full like normal Rocket League mode. That was kind of wild. All right. Shot towards target. I see that he's behind the ball now, so I can kind of go for a free, uh, free clear into the corner. Good bump from the opponents. We got some pretty fast moving players here, and this is our twos, which I believe we stopped at champ. Uh, ish so faster players than 3v3 will be a little bit la uh, a little bit of loss of control there from it's him he's definitely playing fast though so yeah it's probably sitting probably around like diamond to champ uh maybe even higher I, like these players could be like players who got demoted as well uh, uh after the the rank reset oh i'm seeing a lot of this stuff where people are like doing backwards re uh, recoveries He's saying, sorry, that was a decent try. All right, so you see my teammate sitting with his ball. I'm going to get bumped here. Navi might be here. I can definitely beat this guy on this ball. Try to go for a flick or something and try to get this bump. That should be the goal. So I have control there uh, to make a touch around uh, Navi here or Novi. Um, and then I make a pretty poor flick, but it actually lets me get a recovery for the bump. If you ever find yourself ahead of the ball, a good a good opportunity is just to go for bumps on the players who are trying to attack the ball next. I'm actually going to take this corner and steal it from the opponent who would have gotten it right there. Tackle should be able to hopefully get to that. That's a really good demo from the opponents. I definitely should have been more aware of where they were. Let's sit behind my teammate here, though. Good first touch. It's him might pass his middle. Not the greatest pass middle, so I can hopefully follow this. I'm going to try and stay close to the ball. I got 50. See where my teammate is looking backwards. He's got full. I'm going to wait in mid. Now, it looks like Navi's going to try and follow us really quickly. He might have a second touch here. And now I have a free ball. So it was a little bit scary to go for it early. I could try to try to attack it early, but it could go poorly. Now I'll cut this off before it's a shot. You can see I'm trying to be active on defense. If I just sit back there and just stay on the ball or stay off the ball, they can have a free shot. And that's way harder to react to than being on top of the ball as soon as possible. All right, this could be towards target. Totally fine. I'm there. There we go. Big miss from uh, from Novelist, but it's him has some control back here. Not like not like amazing control, but still trying to make a good play in the corner here. It's gonna get 51. I see it's comfortable. I talked about this in the last last episode, I believe the red light green light situation. That's a great clear from them. Didn't expect my teammate to miss that ball, so I was kind of positioned a little bit too aggressively. And at that point, I felt like I should commit, but um, yeah, that jump over like. That kind of confused me, but that's, that's okay. Um, I think I believe I talked about the uh, red light, green light in the, the last episode where I always have like a red light going off of my head until I know I can go and then the green light goes off and I fully commit. So right now it's kind of a red light because it's him's on this ball and me committing is not really a good idea. Green light now that I can go. No red light because uh, Navi's up. I can wait for this. Now I have a green light. And there we go. I can go for this ball. Not the greatest touch because it gives them the ball again, but I'm trying to get in the way of this. Close. Ooh, he crossbarred it. Decent save. I'm waiting for this red light, green light now. There we go. Just getting used to like, getting those aerials to keep it safe in the corner is always good. Decent flick. Let's see if it's him stays with this. I don't really want to go on it until this happens. Now I can go on it. I think Tackless is pretty low. He's trying to grab boost pads or something. I'm trying to cut this off for him. Let's see what they do. Navi's like pre jumping. Oh, wait, and we get the goal. Okay, that was a little bit of a weird positional error from, I think it was both of them. Like, Navi kind of confused it's him. And Tackless just gets a free open goal there. Because, I mean, at that point, they've overcommitted. His backflip actually helped move the ball towards the goal. So, good, posi good position by my teammate to be ready for that. Also, sorry, I lost my voice in San Diego. I have a lot of crazy stories to talk about uh, when I'm allowed to. <laughs> uh... There's a goal. I'm not really sure what just happened. I think, um, yeah, it's him. Didn't, he just backed off and then went really wide. He could have stayed close to that ball. Saying brew. 
brew or bruh. But yeah, I have a lot of crazy stories. I can't really talk about it right now. Uh, I don't know if that gives too much away. Probably does. But either way, um, very excited for certain things to come to light. And also just um, tell some stories about how, like how the uh, the whole trip went because it was interesting. I mean, I can talk a bit of like about like just like my time in San Diego. Um, the first day I was out there, I went to get lunch, and this guy named uh, Danny, funny enough, uh, just sat next to me, and he was like, "What's up, man? Like, what are you up to?" And I was like, "I'm just here for a few days." He ended up being the project manager for San Diego and kind of showed me around the the city. I've been there quite a few times, but uh never like that he showed me some really funky funky places <laughs> nothing like you know everything's e for, e for everyone here with what i'm saying but um some pretty cool places like landmarks and all that stuff uh basically knew the whole town every every everywhere we went people knew who he was they're like hey what's up danny i was like geez you, uh, this whole town knows him or city it's crazy we, we, i guess he was also just showing you where he usually goes so that makes a little more sense but yeah it was pretty cool um there's a lot more I can I can talk about in the future, but not right now. It's an open goal here. I kind of like autopilot a little bit there, but I honestly I've just been sitting behind my teammate. Um, and that was a decent 50-50 for me to go for there because they weren't uh, like goal side. And when I say goal side, they weren't a, 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 across my goal yet. So they were trying to get a, across the ball to go towards the goal. Um, pretty standard first game of the uh the season i feel like these players were actually higher level than i think yeah so they're already champ okay so that's what i thought i was like there's no way we're back down in uh diamond i'm surprised that our unranked our, our ranks didn't like drop down too much because i feel like we should have but maybe i'm used to the fact that if i'm in ssl i do drop quite a bit but everyone else kind of stays the same all right so we got our first 3v3 game of the season as well um yeah so i'm a scatterbrain today i'm like all over the place i'm like full of energy it was a, a crazy flight bumpiest flight i've ever had Kind of terrifying. Good save from Doma. This should probably be around uh, Diamond then, if we're getting champs in uh, twos. We were, I think we were, I believe we were Diamond in threes. Went over uh, save here after the guy was flipping, so he couldn't quite land in time. A little awkward here. Both my teammates went. See if we can stay with this. That's a pretty good recovery. Now I see Andre is the closest player to this ball. I'm gonna try and just hit this ball forward. Goes across. Easy buds in the corner here, though. Awkward bounce, but he does get the boost. Now, you gotta be careful doing those kind of clears that Easy Bud just did, where it spills into mid, because uh, you just give them a free goal, a free shot. And at a high level, that's pretty much a goal. It, it's, it's a decent uh, bounce off the wall there, but I can't really get um, like on that ball fast enough to be really like, guaranteed. Oh, Easy Bud, buddy. You gotta like slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna try and stay with this here. Decent. All right, so Easy Bud's doing a tight rotation in the net. I'm watching him try to push out for this. And now my teammate should be ready for the next ball. Decent follow-up from Easy Bud. Looks like Doma wants to go for this. Not really super necessary to jump that early. But I'm just going to stay, stay on this ball here. I could pop it up off the backboard, see what they do. These two players going for the aerial. Wow, there's some interesting touches here. Okay, once again, not really a ball I can really go on reliably. You can see how close the defense was to these balls. I'm going to just move back by my teammate who should be early in for this. Honestly, decent aerials for, for the, uh, the start of the season. That's forward for Doma. The wall read and the finish. Nice shot. That was a great shot. I wonder if we'll get like a wide ra wider range of players at the start of the season because like if I'm not ranked right now and I'm like it's trying to figure out where I need to be on the new season, um, we could be getting higher level players than I'm supposed to be getting. And that way if I lose... It'll push me down more. I'm not really sure. Like, honestly, I don't know how their algorithm is. This guy uh, is not moving anymore. It's a great save from Doma. I'll be following it, too. Decent try. I am last man there, but I can attack that pretty reliably. I'm going to back off here. This ball is a bit awkward. If you rush up the wall, you probably can catch that. Um, but no, no worries. I'm in a little bit of an awkward spot here. I'm just going to backflip. There we go. It'll probably be too much relish first. He ends up missing. Go for a 50. It's a pretty strong 50 to the side. Hopefully one of them are ready. I don't think Easy Bud gets that, but Dome is ready. And honestly, sometimes when players miss like that, like the opponents aren't expecting it, so they can't really get on the ball. Let's see what happens here. It's going into mid. Easy Bud off the backboard. Once again, Andre set up on this. I'm going to wait for his miss or touch. 
Easy button needs to stop cutting rotations. He keeps like cutting off his teammates. He says my fault though. He recognizes that it was a mistake. Yeah, there's a lot of times. Oops, I missed the boost. A lot of times where um, he's just cutting off balls that he doesn't need to be. There's more awareness on, on the play. And you can see here, like I was ready for that. I'm gonna pop this again off the backboard. See if my teammate can come in. It's a little dangerous, but get, good try. Get behind my teammate. It's a good touch. I see the easy butt does definitely does like has good aerials. Just his like choice of when to aerial is not the best. So I have a free ball here. I'm just gonna pop it to the corner and just stay close here. I'm just staying close to the ball. Should be them. Oh, wait, big miss though. And also, we have this one goal lead. Oh, <laughs> I can probably let this ball bounce here. Stay close. There we go. We can honestly probably hold this lead like 1 0. It's not too bad. We're just trying to stay in a good position. Like right now, I'm third man. It's a little dangerous. I'm going to loop backwards. I can do a tight rotation here, though. And now one of my teammates can get there. Good save. You can see that too much relish knew that he was third man, so we kind of waited there. We're uh, like hesitant, so I knew that I could maybe go. At, like it's me, it's me as first man versus them as third man. So in that situation, I know I can go more often than not and be pretty confident. Watching Doma here, easy buds up. I don't really know if it's gonna be a reliable win on this ball. Hit this! To, I'm gonna try and land on top of the ball. That way, it rolls up the wall. It's a good bump from them. Should be Doma first, though. I could have probably left that for Easy Bud, that boost in mid, but I wasn't sure who would get there first. I'll try and turn on this. Good. Hit this off the wall. This is pretty hard, though. Doma might have it. Decent. Pretty good rotations for my teammates. Nice off the backboard. I see one of them rushing, though. It's a little dangerous. I could have been a goal, actually. I probably shouldn't have pushed up like that because Easy Bud wasn't quite ready to be back yet. Okay, so bad aerial might be a shot on target, and there we go. So you can see that that's an example of me like aerialing and not getting a strong enough touch, especially if my teammate goes off the wall here, because he actually probably had a better clear than me. But honestly, my position to jump there isn't bad. It's just how the contact is, and I, I honestly I don't know what rank we're at. I don't want to like hit like booming clears every touch. We're just trying to play a reliable diamond rocket league, I guess. I don't really know. I, I don't know what we're at right now. Let's see what Doma does. Ooh. Now looks like Andre's ready for this. Try and attack this now. Now one of my teammates can hopefully move in. Oh, big miss, but we got overtime. Okay, so pretty good game so far. I mean, the big mistake for me to give a goal is because immediately they pounce on anything that sits in mid. Hit this off the backboard. Oh, a little scary. Now what I want to do here because I'm last man is hit this like up the wall into a spot that's like a little bit safe. They got a good dunk on me, but still it booms across the field. So no worries. Great passing plays. I like this. Okay. Okay. I can backflip this because I'm in a position where it's bouncing. Teammate goes up for it. Nice shot. So yeah, when I, when I see those opportunities to back up on a ball that's like rolling towards me, I just get the half volley pop really high and Doma was ready for that. I think this guy might actually be like around champ. We have to see though. I, th I think that when I finished last season i was pretty close to champ one with 3v3 but i can't quite remember oh he's diamond two okay that's pretty good so like we've seen a wide range of players i wouldn't necessarily call doma a, a smurf he just played really really good aerial rocket league he he made some good passes good positioning quite a few mistakes from both teammates but like honestly they played really well let's move on to the next game and see what we get we got one on each game so far i don't know why but lit panda sounds very familiar i don't know if we played this guy before in the series we may have. We got another 3v3 game. I uh, I really like Manfield. I, it's probably my favorite map, even with all the new maps that are added. It's just super, super clean. Let's see if they turn on this. I'm waiting for the ball to go towards net. And there it is. And hit this to the left side because there's space. This ball bounces. I think my teammate went up. Or actually, it was the opponent. So, good opportunity. Ooh, big miss. Okay. It's pretty close to the wall here. I don't really want to go in yet. Okay, a little scary. Oh my. I didn't think I was actually going to save that. I was kind of just like jumping in the way of it. Ended up working. Now I got to try and bump this guy if I want to save this. Oh, about my teammate. 
A little awkward on the rotations. Big chip on the wall here. I'm just going to sit behind my teammate again. See if one of them can challenge. Looks like I can go for this. So that was a little bit of uh, hesitance from the last man. Like in that position, his teammate's rotating behind him. Alex can probably turn right here. That was really good control for me to catch the ball like that. But just not a great uh, heavy-sided 50 on, on the defender. So we just kind of dunk it in. Whoa, that's the craziest rotation for a kickoff in a while, man. I don't know what that was. He, like, drove far left and then... Oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I am last man for a second here. This ball goes to the wall, and I can probably rush this. But you can see he was pretty close to the ball, so I don't really want to put myself out of position. I'm kind of just grabbing pads and watching mid. I could have probably went for this. My teammate's going to be uh, uh, patient. All right, big chip. I'm go for it again here. Good demo from Cyber. Big boom as well. Oh, I didn't know if he was going to take that from me. Well, I got a little scared because I kind of like positioned for it. What a read. Oh, my. Good bump from Cyber again. I really should be paying attention to the, the bumps more because those were kind of obvious. I'm like, I'm kind of just watching the play and trying to commentate what I'm doing, but definitely keep an eye out for demos because those, those positions where they're coming at you like that after they pass the ball, like we talked about earlier, is going to be, uh, is going to be, uh, where they're going to get you. Okay. Let's see if one of my teammates can go up there. Good bumps. Cybernetics really likes to, uh, get those, for those go for those bumps. Try and catch this ball. Oh, hello. Okay, let's see what Alex GC does, or CG. Try the control. Lit Panda comes in. I see the 50 coming out. I'm going to grab this boost because I see Lit Panda is kind of, or Alex CG is kind of close. Hit this to the wall. It's going to be Cyber. Who definitely seems like the best player on their team so far. Like movement-wise and speed. There we go. What Alex wants on this. So I'm going to sit behind here. Dream kind of takes the ball from me, but that's totally fine. I'm going to try and bump this guy if I can. Because in that position right there, like there's no way that I'm going to get it to the ball in time. My angle isn't great. And the only one that can shoot is the one on the ball there. So I just try to get a, a, a piece of him. And don't, don't get me wrong. Like hitting a car in the air and stuff is actually harder than hitting the ball. The ball is very predictable. Meanwhile, the um, cars can change and flip at any moment which becomes very difficult to uh predict the better players get okay, hit this off the wall it looks like maybe one of them can come in here there we go i see that dream was trying to read that ball to the right already lip hand needs to get on this oh decent patience oh big miss but they're not ready for it okay Waiting behind here. Good good clear from Dream. See if he can get on this ball again. Might be a clear from them. Not the best touch. Oh. I'm trying to hit this off the corner here. I ended up pinching it across, but hopefully it can turn on this. Great read. So Alex might have another touch here, so I'm just going to wait behind here. Wait for the next touch. There we go. Just Truffner. Going to hit the ball to me. Clears to the sidewall. Looks like Alex is last man, so he's being a little patient. But I have a chance to hit this hard off the, the backboard or high up on the net. I can still stay with this here. Hit this up. Let's see if they can stay off the backboard. So they do get a clear. So we're finding players are more readily available on the backboard. So those high pops that I'm doing like that aren't going to be as successful as they were earlier on. Good try. Good clear from Dream 2. I'm going to be sitting behind, uh, in mid here ready for the touches. It's a great follow-up from Cyber, but do get a touch on that. Nice flip from just Truffner. Waiting behind Lit Panda to see if he goes on this. He's going to get beat. Oh, he actually misses. I'm going to attack now because when I see a player going down the wall on the ramp, that's the best time to jump at them. Oh, wow. I scored. Um, <laughs> I don't know how, but we scored. Uh, right here, when he's going down the wall right there, there's no opportunity for him to jump off the wall. Uh, at the low end of the ramp to really attack. So I don't have a chance to like go at the ball for free. And there we go. The second second 3v3 game down. 
pretty good games, pretty good players. Um, I feel like this is actually better ranked players than what I was playing before. And we're in Diamond 2. Interesting. We'll do one more. Hopefully we get a 2v2 game and we'll be at 2-2. Two two. Uh, but it's going to take some time to get back to our placements, I think. All right, and for the final game, we did get 2v2. We got KBG or KB God. Was it Keyboard God, maybe? Uh, with Chickify and... I don't know what this guy's name is, but that's okay. All right, so he hits the he chips the ball to me in the corner here. I can turn pretty tight on this. Just keep rotation. I'm trying to pass this across to my teammate. Good try. I'll take this back now. See if he's challenging me. There we go. You see how I have possession. No one's really like, they're kind of scared to challenge me. Oh, good try. Good positioning. He's sitting pretty reserved, which is good because... In those corners, you never know like how the ball is going to spill out. Attack this now. It's good 50 from... Uh, oh, Bander, maybe? I, I, maybe Bondre? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> that was a great catch from uh, from him, though. Right there, KB God. He actually, like, hesitated. At that point, his green light should be on, and he should be just attacking that. It was a great 50 from... Uh, from I'm just going to call him Bander. Um... A great 50 from him on me. But he really should be, um, like, KB God should be going. For, oh, that's a big miss from Bander there. KB God should just be attacking as soon as possible there. Oh, man. Man's driving on the wall. I, yep. Yep. I'm kind of scared. Okay, and I got a free ball here. Don't touch it, please. Oh, no. Try and stay close here. Good bump. So I'm going to ch bump Chickify again. Great. Great chip. See, the second I see this ball bouncing into the corner or like uh, off that wall right there, I'm actually looping wide to goal instead of chasing into the ball because it, chasing into the ball is just going to make me like have to play catch up. Okay. Decent aerial and wait for KB God here. Okay. Right here, I'm just waiting for any ball to spill in the mid. Looks like Banner has a touch. I'm going to try and stay on the wall here. Hit this across, maybe. It's a bit high. I don't think he should go for it. Like, at that point, like, that's sort of like baiting your teammate. But at the same time, he should know better not to go for those. Because, okay, this guy needs to chill. This guy needs to chill. Um, Like, sometimes, like, it's a bad pass. You just don't go. Good 50. Hit this towards wall. It's going to be Bander to clear it, though. Decent clear to the corner. I can grab these two pads and then loop back behind my teammate. A decent try. Waiting for Chicken Fight's touch. He hits it off the wall. I get the beat there. I get the mid boost and hopefully uh, my teammate can make a touch here. I might be Chicken Fight. He, he might miss though. I'll wait here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Waiting for him to get out. He's not. He's not looping out. Like he keeps not going back, and that's making it tough for me to. Um, um, like get myself into the position for the play. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm going to try and pop this high and then take the boost. Stay close here. I hear KB God like right behind me. He's pretty difficult to work with so far. I feel like because of how close he's trying to position on everything. It's off the, off the play there. Once I know it's off target, I can just wait for the ball off the backboard. Decent try. See if we can get on this ball again. Nice touch. Now I'm waiting for uh, him to come towards the ball here. I'm going to take this back corner. Let's see. He's trying to stay on this. I hit this out far. Hopefully he can't score that. It's not the best option, but it's definitely okay because it would be tough for them to really make anything happen off that touch if it goes across the net fast. Okay. Decent try on the touch. See if he challenges this. He should have the ball for free. Good boom. He needs to start positioning in the mid here. Oh, big try! Like, good try. That see, that was that's what I'm talking about. Like if you loop wide to goal there, like he could have had a shot on target, but he chased the ball in the, in the corner. It's off the backboard. Let's see what Chickify does. It's off the backboard again. Try and get a bump or something. Good patience from KB God. Let's see if we can get on this again. Good try. It's a good demo. Hit this up. Oh. Bit of a misread. He's got to let his teammate rotate, man. He's got he's got to let him come in. Get a shot on target, and there we go. So my teammate is making it difficult 
because he's trying to make touches that are behind him. And that's probably a lack of trust in his teammates. Right there, I made a good touch that's off the backboard or off the corner. And then I just get a, a free shot towards target. Nothing too special there. It's also just a matter of getting good placement on the touches off the wall and stuff. Go for a flick. Try to take this to the, the, the mid boost. Just stay close. I hit this up and see what KB God likes to do here. getting too aggressive on the ball because like in that situation the ball's against the wall there's nothing he can really do to get that in a position that's like scorable for us i okay, gotta let him go for this oh maybe maybe a bump good try on the backflip once again it could have been a ball that i went for but i said he likes to turn on this i took the mid boost interesting game so far you can see i like to be pretty reserved though with a player who's like that like he should be able to take this corner boost I'm not going to go for the mid boost just because I don't necessarily trust him. Yeah, there you go. Um, my options there were to grab mid boost and trust my teammate to get it clear. Or, oh boy. Um, or, um, or go back and save the ball. And he shoots a top left. I mean, it's a perfect ending, honestly. <laughs> what a game. What a game to finish the episode. Sorry again for my uh, lack of voice. I'm kind of struggling, but had a great time in San Diego. It was a well-deserved well break, at least in my opinion, and a much-needed break. Um, yeah, and I'm going to Copenhagen for RLCS as well. If you're going, definitely come say hi. Don't be shy. I love saying hi to you guys and, and chatting for a little bit. Um, yeah, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That was a champ lobby again. So, yeah, we're probably going to be champ champ one right, right off the mark, maybe even higher if the placements keep going this way. Um, but either way, until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.